in a time when having a figure eight is like And another way is like focusing on other things, not having a big booty or not having a, um, I mean, would I kill myself? Oh, hell no. Hi guys, my name is Joyce and welcome back to my channel. And today I'll be talking to you guys about self-confidence and looks. Yeah, self-confidence and looks. And keep in mind that I'm not like a professional. So, and the things I'm going to say in this video are just simply my opinion and how I view, you know, self-confidence and looks. So if you don't agree with it, well, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. So this is just my opinion. Remember when being skinny was in? Do you remember the times when skinny girls rocked the world? Well, it's no longer that way. Sorry to we skinny people that exist. I'm sorry that you exist at a time like this. But the question is how are you going to do with your self-confidence in a time when having a figure eight is like everything. And what is a figure eight, you might ask? Well, I'm going to tell you. Well, a figure eight can simply be defined as a person, usually a female, maybe a male. Usually a female who has big boobs, a big booty, and a tiny waist. And that is simply what a figure eight is. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have that, I'm sorry. I don't have I don't, I don't have it either, but I'm, I'm so I'm not surviving. Yeah, I'm, I have no choice but <laughs> to survive. I mean would I kill myself? Oh hell no. <laughs> like why 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 would I kill myself when I have a lot to live for despite the fact that I do not have a big booty or a big boob like but I have to find you know um, surviving mechanisms to you know live and that's where self-confidence comes in um, you see society has made it that you have to like look a certain way especially to the ladies like if you do not look like Nicki Minaj or Kim Kardashian you should not feel confident in yourself See, one, one of the ways of, you know, boosting your self-confidence is by, um, you know, accepting, like, who you really are, accepting things that you can't change, accepting your flaws, and knowing that you have to probably live with it for the rest of your life. And, you know, you just have, that's the first step in building your self-confidence, accepting yourself for who you truly are, and knowing that you can't change certain things. And the second thing is, like, what can you do to maybe, you know, help yourself feel confident in, like, your looks? And then another, one way to do that, one way to do that is your dressing. Like, being skinny or not having the perfect figure, you could research, I don't know those fashion tips, but, like, you could probably research on, you know, some fashion tips just to you know like help you dress in a certain way that will bring out certain features or hide certain features and all of that so dressing is definitely like one of the ways to boost your self-confidence when it comes to dealing with your looks and your figure and all of that so that's that's one way another thing is like to focus on other things like not having a big um booty not having big boobs not having like a flat tummy or whatever shouldn't stop you from accomplishing like certain things like you should set goals for yourself that you want to achieve and you would notice that when you actually achieve those goals like other things like maybe the way you look become like not so important and not so relevant i'm not saying look like a raggedy person but not having maybe the best figure or anything would seem like a minor issue compared to what you have achieved like Personally, I face self-confident issues a lot, like, for my age, and I'm like, really, nothing really, because I've seen people smaller than me, but I'm like, pretty much, like, small, nobody would actually believe my age when they actually see me, and then people are always like, you look too small, but things like that don't bother me anymore, because I know that being small, or not looking my age, or not having a big stature, it's not going to stop me from accomplishing whatever I want to accomplish like mm -mm. and if I let things like people's comments weigh me down like it's just gonna make me feel bad about myself so why would I let you know other random people like people that are not influencing my life 
in any way or people that are not necessarily going to help me achieve what I want to achieve why would I let their comments like bring me down and make me feel um, and make me feel less confident in myself making me feel you know depressed and all of that that should not be the case and once you put your mind to things that you want to accomplish and you walk towards accomplishing those things like whatever anybody say ain't gonna bother you like mm -mm, it's not you just be like oh okay oh oh like I, I already know I'm like skinny oh I already know like my tummy is big I already know that um I'm not that beautiful but like I, I know that because I've accepted like that's who I am and I'm not I'm probably not gonna be able to change it but it didn't stop me from getting a degree getting a doctorate opening my own fashion um, store having my own this having my own business having my own company and all of that like so yeah like I don't see why like it, it really it really pains me when I see people like you know losing their self-confidence just because of what other people are saying I mean if you want to feel bad about yourself let it be because not because of what somebody said but because you, ju you just want to feel bad for yourself at least that's better than feeling bad because of what um, someone else is saying. I'm not saying that it's it's easy because I know a lot of people get bullied because of you know certain things. But like I said earlier, once you've accepted, once you've accepted the fact that you're this, you're that, you can't change it. Like even though it's even though what someone says like hurts you a little bit, like it's not going to have that much of an impact on you once you've accepted on that fact. And the last thing I'm going to say today, this is just a short video, I might continue later in another separate video. But we'll always pray no matter what, like prayer is everything. Like I'm a Christian, a seven day Adventist to be like specific. So once you pray to God, God is definitely going to, you know, help you get through some of these issues that, you know, some of these issues that you're facing and he would help you boost your self confidence with God on your side. Girl, guys, you're, you're you see, we got on your side. Like you're okay. Like you're taken care of. Like everything is gonna be fine. So um, I don't know a lot of issues that guys are facing, but I'll probably ask my friends and you know find out maybe some of the issues guys you know face too, and do that in another video. So thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe. All right, bye. Should be not good, would it do all for me? Should be not good, would it do all for you?